Okay, let's say we want to connect these two half circles with another curve. And it's not a big deal to do it on snapping points. Let's say here from the middle, we create a line with shift A again, another line with shift A along the Z axis this time. We hide these two, go to control point, look for bridge vertex. G1 continuity, bring back the rest. And there you go. That's not a big deal to make it on a snapping point. You can do it even with a center circle. Create a center circle, change to vertical or horizontal by pressing V and change the axis. I pressed X, trim this redundant stuff and there you go. It's not a big deal, like I said, to do it on snapping points. How do we proceed on non-snapping points? Let's say your blueprint says that you have to have a connection on this point so not on a snapping point if we look from the top the connection has to be straight so we can't do any random stuff like this so create a line like so and let's say another line here and you are in a position where randomly placing these lines and connecting them is not an option even though it is possible but you get then you get a skewed curve like this so let's say this curve, this connecting curve has to be straight also like this one. So if we take this guy from the top view, duplicate it and bring it here somewhere where it is overlapping with this half circle and cut this redundant stuff with this half circle. So select this line again, look for cut curve. And now select the cutter, which is this half circle, press OK. And now we can delete this redundant thing and create this time a vertical line starting at this snapping point and drag it somewhere here to a point which passes the half circle. So along the Z by normal. And now you can simply trim the redundant stuff. And if we select these two lines, the newly created one, shift h isolate them in control point mode now we can again bridge vertex them look for bridge vertex again choose the continuity you like and bring back the rest there you go let's repeat this process again this time from right view again from a non-snapping point on a random point duplicate this guy so that it overlaps with this half circle so the same stuff we did a few moments ago basically and select this newly created line cut this one with cut curve this time this half circle is the cutter you can delete this redundant stuff and create a horizontal line along the x-axis trim these redundant lines shift h go to control point look for bridge vertex i will again go with the g1 bring back the rest pressing alt h and if we go to control point, you can see that all these points are green. That's a good sign that shows that the end points, that the control points touch these half circles. Anyhow, let's put this to a test and let's make a loft. So let's say you want a surface where these newly created connections are the guiding curves and these half circles are the main curves, but only this segment, these one. And let's create a surface selecting these two curves pressing l for loft select the guiding curves these three that looks okay but uh, here is a bump so again let's resurface it this time without choosing this line in the middle select these two loft and select the first connection then shift select the second connection as the guiding curve i discussed it in another quick tip video of mine i will link it if we mirror this one you will see that we get an edge and we don't want this edge we want a smooth connection obviously so we have to do it in another way so bring back the curves we cannot use these curves for lofting if we want the surface which we are about to create to mirror to the other side without any creases so we have to give plasticity some information on how this continuity should um yeah should continue we have to create a sheet and use the edge of this sheet here also 
we have to use the edges of these two sheets for our lofting process so therefore let's select these two curves hide them because we want to use these edges select these two edges loft this time we can say plasticity what kind of continuity it should use i leave it at g1 and i use these two guiding curves and if we now mirror the sheet pressing alt x connect this pressing j and again let's just make a second mirror along the z axis this time this time i use merge halves together and if we hide the curves and also this overlay you can see that we have a clean surface and that's it.